alone or not? Please let's clap for Jesus and play be seated. We will start our intercession this morning as follow, saying, Father, and deal every winner with the spirit of grace and supplication for the speedy delivery of the wonder double agenda. In Romans chapter 8, verse 20, we understand that the Holy Spirit helps our infirmity by praying for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. Let's go on our feet as we pray that prayer from our heart and with passion, saying, Father, and deal every winner with the spirit of grace and supplication for the speedy delivery of the wonder double agenda. Lift up our voice and pray that prayer with passion from the depth of your heart. Lift up your voice this morning, letting God hear your voice of prayer this morning, saying, Father, and deal every winner with the spirit of grace and supplication for the speedy delivery of the wonder double agenda. Every prayer infirmity, let's pray that God will help every winner against every prayer infirmity in the name of Jesus. For the Holy Spirit help our infirmity. He help our infirmity. For we do not know how we ought to pray as we ought to pray. But the Holy Spirit, he help our infirmity by praying to us with groanings that cannot be uttered. Jesus, we ask our God and deal every winner with the spirit of grace and supplication. The spirit of prayer. The spirit of prayer. The power to pray. The power to prevail in prayer. Father, and deal every winner with the spirit of grace and supplication for the speedy delivery of the wonder double agenda in the name of Jesus. Are you praying the prayer? I let this morning, let God hear your voice this morning. Let God hear your voice this morning. Lift up a voice and pray the prayer with passion. Same, Father, and deal every winner with the spirit of grace and supplication for the speedy delivery of the wonder double agenda. Every winner, power to prevail in prayer. Oh God, power to prevail and prevail in prayer and deal every winner with the spirit of grace and supplication for the speedy delivery of the wonder double agenda. Lift up your voice and pray the prayer. You can pray in the spirit, pray your understanding. Lero Sheka, Metonia Zetala, Mekoporia Deliba Shade, Jesus, and deal every winner with the spirit of grace and supplication for the speedy delivery of the wonder double agenda. Oh God, we need your hair, for we cannot do it in the energy of the flesh, not by power, not by mind, but by my spirit, said the Lord, Father, and deal every winner with the spirit of grace and supplication for the speedy delivery of the wonder double agenda. Manto Teliara, Meshuke Tobrialada, Parotendelia, Rashata. Lift up a voice, pray the prayer. Pray the prayer. Let go hear your voice. I let this morning. It's the Allah will let sing thee. Manto, oh God, and deal. Father, and deal every winner with the spirit of grace and supplication for the speedy delivery of the wonder double agenda. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, pray in the name of Jesus. We are praying this morning in the name of Jesus. We are praying this morning in the name of Jesus. Same, Father, and deal every winner with the spirit of grace and supplication for the speedy delivery of the wonder double agenda in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The name above our name. Father, we pray this morning and deal every winner without exception with the spirit of grace and supplication for the speedy delivery of the wonder double agenda in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray. Pray the more. Pray with passion. Jesus and deal every winner with the spirit of grace and supplication for the speedy delivery of the wonder double agenda in the name of Jesus. Are you praying this morning? Is God hearing your voice? Are you connected to heaven in prayer this morning? Are you contacting the heavenly 
this morning in your prayer, we are saying this morning, Father, and deal every winner with the spirit of grace and supplication for the speedy delivery of the wonder double agenda in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every winner without exception, men, women, children, to begin to pray with resolve, effect your prayer, prayer for resolve, prayer for delivery, Father, and deal every winner with the spirit of grace and supplication for the speedy delivery of the wonder double agenda in the name of Jesus, ability to stand in the place of prayer, grace to stand in the place of prayer, pray the prayer this morning, we are saying to our heavenly father, father and deal every winner with the spirit of grace and supplication for the speedy delivery of the wonder double agenda in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, pray in the spirit, pray in your understanding, pray in the spirit, pray in your understanding, say to your father in heaven and deal every winner with the spirit of grace and supplication for the speedy delivery of the wonder double agenda. Don't be tired this morning. Lift up a voice. Pray with passion. Don't be tired. Lift up a voice. Pray. Lift up a voice. Pray. Pray. Pray this morning. Say to God and deal every winner. Father and deal every winner with the spirit of grace and supplication for the speedy delivery. Speedy delivery of the wonder double agenda in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Wave your hand to heaven. Give God praise. For answer prayer, we give you glory. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. Shout a big amen. Please be seated in God's presence. Heaven on earth, very shortly we shall all be upstanding to pray again this morning. And as we rise up to pray, we shall be praying and saying, Father, endue every member of this church with the grace to labor abundantly towards the full delivery of the wonder double agenda before the end of this prophetic season in the name of Jesus Christ. We shall be rising and praying passionately from the depth of our hearts in the name that is above every name. Why don't you rise up right now and let us begin to call on God this morning. Father, endue every member of this church with the grace to labor abundantly towards the full delivery of the wonder double agenda before the end of this prophetic season in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you because even now your hand is stretched forth to endure every member of this church with the grace to labor abundantly Lord towards the full delivery of the wonder double agenda before the end of this prophetic season. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 10, but by the grace of God I am what I am, and his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain. The grace of God is available for you to labor this morning. Oh, Father, grant us, endure us, every member of this church with the grace to labor abundantly. Thank you because your grace is abundant. Your grace is sufficient. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, ancient of days. Father, endure every member of this church with the grace to labor abundantly towards the full delivery of the wonder double agenda before the end of this prophetic season, almighty and everlasting God, endure every member 
of this church. Lord, every member of this church, Father, with the grace to labor abundantly towards the full delivery of the one double agenda before the end of this prophetic season. Lord, thank you. Your grace is sufficient for us. We give you thanks, oh God. Thank you, King of glory. By your grace, we are what we are. We thank you. Your grace bestowed upon us shall never be in vain. We give you praise, Lord. We look unto you. Are you praying this morning? Are you calling on God? In the name that is above every name. In the name of Jesus. The name that answers in heaven and on earth. Lord, we thank you and do every member of this church with the grace to labor abundantly towards the full delivery of the wonder double agenda before the end of this prophetic season. In the name of Jesus, oh God of heaven, thank you, ancient of days, because you are at work in us to will and to do of your good pleasure. We thank you and do every member of this church, Lord, with the grace to labor abundantly towards the full delivery of the wonder double agenda before the end of this prophetic season. Pray passionately. Pray from the depth of your heart. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hearts. Begin to call on God this morning. He said, call on to me and I will answer you. Father, we are looking on to you this morning. We thank you for the endowment of your grace. Lord, endure every member of this church with the grace to labor abundantly. The grace to labor abundantly towards the full delivery of the wonder double agenda. Lord, before the end of this prophetic season, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, and you, every member of this church, with the grace to labor abundantly, oh God, towards the full delivery of the wonder double agenda before the end of this prophetic season, in the name of Jesus, Lord, our eyes are lifted unto you. Your grace bestowed upon us shall not be in vain. We shall labor abundantly, but by your grace, Lord, we know that this agenda is fulfilled already. We thank you, Lord. We lift up our eyes full of expectation for your mighty hand to move. Lord, and you, every member of this church, with the grace to labor abundantly towards the full delivery of the wonder double agenda before the end of this prophetic season, in the name of Jesus, are you praying? Lift up those hands. Call on God this morning. God answers prayers. We thank you, Lord, for answer prayers. We thank you because as we call on you this morning, there is endowment, Lord, for your people of the grace to labor abundantly. Thank you, King of glory. We have those hands. Give him praise. Magnify him. We exalt you, Lord. To you be all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please put those hands together and be seated. Heaven on earth, it is time for personal supplication. It is time to enforce a change of situation, a change of story, a change of circumstances. In 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 5, the Bible says, in Gibeon, the Lord appeared unto Solomon in a dream by night. And God said, ask what I shall give you. And God is here this morning. And he's saying to you, ask what I shall give you. 
No time for ambiguities. No time for stories. One line prayer. Pray that prayer in faith. The same way God answered Solomon is the same way he will answer you. Stand with me to your feet. Take your prayer books. You have a prayer desire in your heart. Stand to your feet. Take that desire before the throne of grace. God is asking you to ask. And if he told Solomon, ask. Solomon asked. And God answers after the order of which he got. That same God is here. He will answer you even beyond your expectation. For he's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think. But you must ask. Therefore, lift up your voice. Take that issue before the throne of grace. Don't cram too many issues into this time of prayer. Pray that one line prayer. And pray with a mindset. Father, you must answer me today. Jacob said, I will not let you go. Except you bless me. Lift up your voice to heaven. And take that desire before the throne of grace. Go ahead. The Lord is hearing you this morning. Lift up your voices to heaven. Press that demand home. A change is God's plan for you, but you must ask. And you must just not ask, you must ask in faith. Believing that the one who is asking you to ask will give you even more than you can ask. Go ahead and press that desire home. Take with you words and turn to the Lord. Go ahead and enforce a change of story. Go ahead and enforce a turnaround. I will not let you go except you bless me. Pray in faith. Pray with passion. Pray expecting a turnaround. Don't pray into storage. 
Pray that prayer that must be answered now. Everybody rise to your feet and let's celebrate this prayer answering God. Rise to your feet and let's give God praise. The psalmist says, I love the Lord because he has heard my supplications. Again this morning, not only has he heard, but he has answered. Stand to your feet, just wave your hands to him and say, Father, I thank you. Blessed be your mighty name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Please, you may be seated. Heaven and earth, let's please listen to this following written testimonies. Number one, divine employment via soul winning. In 2011, I applied for scholarship in one of the Euro European universities. Then I keyed into the soul winning project that year because I knew that as I worked for God, he would also work for me. Before I submitted my application, I discovered that no African had been granted such scholarship. To the glory of God, I was granted that scholarship. I returned after my studies and began searching for a job, but all my effort proved abortive. When Bishop Oedipo declared the ingathering season for June and July, I saw it as an opportunity to secure my miracle job. So, I keyed into it. During that period, I was offered a job I didn't apply for. During the last phase of the in-gathering season, I was called by one of the Nigerian telecommunications company and informed that I had been offered an appointment on Friday. On Friday, I received my appointment letter. I give God all the glory. They testified Ibironke Williams. The second one, promotion and financial breakthrough via Kingdom Promotion. In 2011, I encountered several challenges in my career, finances, and my daughter's health. I'm a tither and a Kingdom investor, yet things were still rough for me. In a bid to find a solution to my situation, I took three days off and camped in Canaan land to seek God's face. On the second day, the Lord spoke to me. Go and establish my presence in your father's house. When I asked him how, he said, plant the living faith church there. I told God that there were already churches in my village, but he said, they don't have the mandate of liberation. Again, I told God that I'm a woman. Then he said, I will send an errand ahead of you. To the glory of God, on the last Sunday of November 2012, the Living Faith Church commenced in my village, and Shiloh 2012 was viewed there. In January 2013, the Almighty God promoted me in my place of work and gave me financial breakthroughs. God has indeed proved himself faithful, and the testifier is Stella N. Let's rise up on our feet and appreciate this God who has done this great and mighty acts. Let's give him a hand of praise. He's worthy of it. Let's give him a hand of praise. Hallelujah. Oh yes, he answers prayer. Oh yes, he answers prayer. The God that serves answers prayer. Only Jesus answers prayer. Oh yes.
yes, he has asked. Oh, yes, he has asked. Oh, yes, he has asked. You believe that? Sing it up. The God I serve, the God I serve, I serve. Only Jesus, only Oh, yes, he has asked prayers. Oh, yes, he has asked prayers. Jehovah has asked prayers. Oh, yes, he has asked prayers. The God I serve, the God I serve, I serve. Only Jesus has asked prayers. Oh, yes, he's God that sat by fire. Oh, yes, he has asked Oh, yes, he has sat by fire. Oh, yes, he has asked The God I serve, the God I serve, I serve. Only only Jesus, oh yes, Jesus answers prayers. Oh yes, He answers. Jehovah answers by fire. Oh yes, He answers. The God I serve, the God I serve, answers prayer. Only Jesus, only Jesus. Oh yes, Jesus answers prayers. Oh yes, He answers. This God answers by fire. Oh yes, He answers. When we call Him, He answers. Hey. Give the Lord a big hand of praise and please be seated. Luke 21 and verse 38. And early in the morning, all the people came into the temple for to hear him. Jesus, I'm here to hear from you. Speak to me directly, speak to me personally. Change my story by what you show me this morning. In the name of Jesus. I mean, I need to hear from God right now. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have tried to establish the fact that um, kingdom stewardship demands joy to be profitable. Kingdom stewardship demands joy to be profitable. It is divine presence that makes the difference. And God was working with them, confirming the world with signs following. And God will only dwell in the presence of joy. For in his presence is fullness of joy. And at right hand there are pleasures evermore. Kingdom stewardship demands joy to be profitable. Why must I be joyful? Joy is the covenant guarantee for returns on our stewardship. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 47 and 48. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and gladness of heart, for the abundance of all things, therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things, and shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he has destroyed thee. Joy is a covenant guarantee for returns on our stewardship. So it's a covenant obligation. You want to experience returns on your investment of time, energy, and resources in promoting this kingdom, then rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say, rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say, rejoice. Rejoice evermore. Don't stop it. Keep rejoicing. First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 17, uh, 16. He said, rejoice evermore. Rejoice evermore. Rejoice evermore. Every change of level which the rewards on our stewardship guarantees, every change of level demands joy to take place. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, there might not be fruit in the vine, the fruit of lilies shall fail. He said, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. Habakkuk 3 and verse 17 to 19. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. And the Lord will make my feet like I speak. 
and it will cause me to walk over my high places. He will change my level as I rejoice. He will change my level as I rejoice. If you notice the man called Joseph, he was a joyful soul. I mean, he was so charming in the house of Potiphar that he handed over everything to him. His level kept changing. In spite of his misfortune, God kept changing his level. He got to the prison. They've never seen any charming prisoner like that. They said, we better hand over this place to this man. Joy was a spiritual factor responsible for his divine change of levels, both as a slave in the house of Potiphar and in the prison. And joy saw him up to the throne. It was through joy and contacted the contact that brought him to the palace. Why are you so down this morning? What's going on here? Come on now, rejoice. Where there is life, there is hope. And he said, tell me, dream. tell me, that's my area. Tell me your dream. No dream should depress you. Tell me your dream. He was a charming soul. You see, you've carried this long face is long enough. It's making your journey farther and farther. It's time to cheer up. It takes joy to experience the hand of God on your life. It takes joy to experience change of levels. It takes joy. It takes joy. It takes joy. Um, and I believe that spirit of joy is coming upon you this morning. Can I hear your loudest amen? That spirit of joy is coming upon you this morning. That spirit of joy is coming upon you this morning. Now, if you look at that Deuteronomy 28, the reason why they were not joyful is that they couldn't see the abundance. You know, because you can't see abundance and not bring out your teeth. They couldn't see it. They couldn't see it. He said, for the abundance of all things. Everybody else, they say, where is the abundance? Their, their depression didn't allow them access to the abundance. They couldn't see it. And they said, therefore, with joy shall we draw water out of the wells of salvation. It takes joy to see your inheritance. It takes joy. Without joy, you are spiritually blinded. It takes joy. To assess your inheritance in Christ. Isaiah chapter 12 and verse 3. Therefore with joy shall ye draw water out of the ways of salvation. It takes joy to get there. Only the joyful flow in revelation. You can't see what God has in stock without joy. So we need the joy of the Lord all of the time. To stay on top of life situations and circumstances. We need the joy of the Lord all of the time. In order for us to stay on top of life situations and circumstances. It takes joy to get there. So it's not enough to be involved. It's not enough to engage. It's important for us to be joyful in our involvement, in our engagement, and to remain joyful until we begin to flow in our harvest. Can I hear your amen? Let me hear your loudest amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. Well, one of the uh, provisions made available for us to remain joyful is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Actually, the Holy Spirit is our spiritual wine. It gets you high all of the time. In Acts chapter 2, verse 12 to 15, and everybody heard them speaking in their own language and uh, saying, what? what means this? And verse 13, others mocking said, these men are full of new wine. And that's true. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice, and said unto them, Ye men of Judea, and all ye that dwell in Jerusalem, be it known unto you and hearken to my words. What is he saying? For these are not drunken as he supposed, saying it is but the third hour of the day. All the bars are closed. They are not drunk. So the Holy Ghost gets us drunken with joy. Get us what? Drunken with joy. It gets us drunken with joy. The Holy Ghost gets, no wonder it's called the oil of gladness. Glory to God. Psalm 45 and verse 7. He's the oil of gladness. He's anointed Jesus in prophecy with the oil of gladness above his fellows. In Luke 10, 21, at that time Jesus rejoiced in the spirit. He had upon him the oil of gladness 24-7. He rejoiced in the spirit. He said, and in that hour Jesus rejoiced in spirit. He was overwhelmed with this oil of gladness. In Isaiah 61 verse 3, he's called the oil of joy. Glory to God. So you can charge your joy 
by praying the Holy Ghost to come afresh upon your life. And if your earthly father knows how to give good gifts to their children, how much more will God give the Holy Ghost to them that ask him? So it's important to engage the power of the Holy Spirit to destroy every air of depression around your life if it ever comes near. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. The joy of the Lord is upon your life this morning. So we can engage the Holy Spirit to steer up the joy of the Lord in us. In Romans chapter 4, 14 and verse 17, he said the kingdom of God is not in meat and in drink, but in righteousness and peace and what? Joy in the Holy Ghost. He's the spiritual wine. First Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 6, the word repeats the same thing. He said, First Thessalonians 1 and verse 16. He said, I, okay, verse 6, sorry. And verse 6, and ye became followers of us and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction, with what? Joy of the Holy Ghost. The joy that the Holy Ghost supplies. The joy that the Holy Ghost supplies. Now, listen to me. Your harvest is not in view without joy. You stand the risk of destroying your harvest for lack of joy. In 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 18, we are told Anna stood up and ate bread, and her continent was no more sad. Then Samuel came. Then Samuel came. Then Samuel came. Her continent was no more sad. That opened the door for the returns on our prayers. That opened the door for answers to flow in. And our countenance was no more sad. This is very vital. We need the joy of the Holy Ghost to sustain our joy perpetually. You can't be filled with the Holy Ghost and be filled with depression. It's impossible. When the oil is fresh, the excitement is fresh. The joy is hot. You can't help it. You are not trying to make up. That's just what you are. The joy of the Lord. Can I hear your amen? The joy of the Lord. Now receive that this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive that this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. So it's not enough to be involved. It's not enough to engage. It's important to do that with joy. Amen. It's important to do that with joy. Otherwise, our involvement will be in vain. Our engagement will be in vain. But God forbid. Your involvement, your engagement in this prophetic season will speak louder than you ever imagined. Amen. Somebody believe that. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. You are going to hit certain kind of favor that will shake you yourself. Amen. You believe that. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. I've been saying things before, but there was something I saw when this thing, when this... Um, uh, 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 Wonder Double Agenda began. I have never seen it. It weakened me. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I was weakened. Is this God or what? Can this be real? Is this true? It got me weakened. I mean, I, I see you walking into certain realms of favor that you'll be wondering from where is this coming from? Yeah. What have I done to marry this? Yeah. That shall be your experience. Yeah. You know, the reason why that will come, you open up for this kind of favor with joy. Favor pursued Joseph. How? Trailing the joy of the Lord in his life. Favor will keep pursuing you right now. Amen. Every time you look depressed, you are posting to God that is punishing you. That God is not treating you fairly. That is this how to treat your, die, your daughter? Is this how to treat your son? And to a wicked God? Where is the love in you? That's what your action is saying. And you know God weighs actions. How many will say amen to that? He said, God is God of knowledge by whom actions are weighed. There are things you never say. God understands it. By the time you are moving, well, maybe this is how you treat your daughter. This is how you will treat me. And this is means of the year. It's almost over now. I've always tried to defend you all the time. But this time, I think that uh, something is actually wrong. God, are you sure you are there? Is your word really true? Can anybody count on it? Now, so don't let God read your actions to disqualify you for his blessings. So, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say what? Rejoice. Rejoice evermore. No devil can kill my joy. My joy has left that realm. 
my joy has left that realm. Then no matter what to do, I know at the end of it, I'm the winner. I know at the end of it, I'm coming out triumphant. Praise God. Praise God. They told me the other time, they said, and when we were doing our construction in Kaduna, they said one trust fell. I said, I hope nobody's hurt. Then nobody put it back again. No problem. Check why it fell and put it back again. Praise the Lord. You bring anything from anywhere, praise the Lord is my response. Praise the Lord. And the next thing is relax. <laughs> there is a way forward. You can't, you can't lose the battle because he said the righteous man falls seven times, he rises up again. Eh? There is no champion in the world that didn't get down once. But he won't let them count him before he jumps up. You say one, two, three, say, no way. I'm still here. <laughs> he jumps up because he must win the battle. You are winning the battle. Yeah. Maybe you have done it twice, three times, and it's not working. It will work now. Yeah. I said it will work now yeah. because the hand of the Lord is upon your life. Come and rise to your feet right now. Holy Ghost, fire up the joy of the Lord in my life. Go ahead and pray. Fire up the joy of the Lord afresh in my life. Holy Ghost, come upon me afresh as the oil of joy and the oil of gladness. Destroy everything that murmurs and complains in me. I seek your face for the release of the oil of joy, the oil of gladness upon my life this morning. Go ahead and pray that prayer, everyone. Pray that prayer from the depth of your heart. Pray that prayer from the depth of your heart. Pray that prayer from the depth of your heart. In the name of Jesus, I receive a fresh release of the oil of joy and the oil of gladness upon my life this morning. Take it, take it, take it, take it. It is the key to answered prayers. It is the key to the wars on your labor. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. I receive the spirit of joy upon my life this morning. I receive afresh upon my life this morning the spirit of joy. The spirit of joy. The spirit of joy, the spirit of joy, the spirit of joy. Come on, receive it. Receive it from the depth of your heart. The spirit of joy upon your life. Receive upon your life this morning. The spirit of joy, the spirit of joy, the spirit of joy, the spirit of joy. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. Amen. In Jesus' name. How many have heard some outstanding testimonies of the power of joy? For speedy returns and rewards on your labor. I've had many this time. That young person said, I put on a broad Jesus smile. I had only one fifty naira on me, but it won't touch my life. It won't tamper with me. And the same day it returns. I mean, that's the power of joy. That is the power of joy. We read another testimony yesterday of, I put on a broad Jesus smile, hit the road, and that was it. Then returns came. That means it takes joy for returns on your labor. It takes joy. Testimonies are pointed to your inheritance and how to assess it. Do what they do and you get the same result. Therefore, don't see this weekend as a burden. See it as a great opportunity for a dramatic change of level. And that person got first contract, second contract, same time. What's going on? Same time, what's going on? Say with me, God is going on. The world is going on. It takes joy to assess your reward. Your circumstances notwithstanding, it takes joy to assess your reward. God is no respecter of persons. Until your joy comes alive, your reward is not in view. Until your joy comes alive, your reward is not in view. So, in our various DC centers, tomorrow, before they allow you to enter, you must be smiling. You are not smiling. You have to go home and get ready and come back. Glory to God. We are not looking for sympathizers. We are looking for witnesses. What are we looking for? Say, Jesus, I've come again to assist you because I know it takes people like us to get anywhere. But you are not treating me well. Let me bear my mind to you. Not... <laughs> Don't let your mind destroy your life. Your life is too precious with God. Can I hear your amen? Yeah. This God has been treating me well all along. Whether you feel so or not, that's your problem. 
I mean, you may think I'm suffering. That's your view. But I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. Jesus is Lord. Because others got their testimonies by joy. This weekend, you get your own spirit testimony. You know, all of them got it instantly. They got it out. Somebody's going to win a soul today. And immediately your miracle job will show up. Somebody's going to win a soul today with joy. The joy of the Lord. And immediately you, the breakthrough you have been looking for in your life, in your career, in your business, will take place. Yeah. Somebody's winning a soul today and becoming pregnant. Yeah. And the shame and reproach of barrenness will be over forever. Yeah. Somebody's winning a soul today and God is performing a surgery on his life. Yeah. Can I hear your loudest amen? Yeah. Okay, you believe that. Let's rejoice in the Lord right now. I will rejoice and be glad in I will rejoice and be glad. I lift up my voice to sing praise to the Lord. This is the day He has made. I will rejoice, rejoice, rejoice and be glad.
Lift up your two hands to heaven and give him thanks for restoring the joy of salvation in your life. For pouring out upon you this morning the oil of gladness and the oil of joy that makes the worship highly profitable. Celebrate God and magnify him. Joy and rejoicing remains your portion from today. No more breakdowns. No more emotional breakdowns. You are on top of it all. You are on top of it all. You are on top of it all. By the spirit of joy, you are, high, are, are, you are riding in your high places. You are riding to your high places. You are riding in your high places. By the spirit of joy, you are riding in your high places. By the spirit of joy, you are riding in your high places. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Therefore, be filled with the spirit of joy. Be filled with the spirit of joy. Be filled with the spirit of joy. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. In Jesus' precious name. Is somebody excited? May this excitement be kept for life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please get out today with broad smiles. Let somebody think you just won a lottery. Amen. Amen. Let anybody ask you, what's happening to you today? You say, the joy of the Lord has become my strength. The joy of the Lord is at work in me. Let it be reflective. Don't say, God knows I'm joyful. No. People should know that you are joyful. People should know. And that will be the beginning of celebration. And that shall be without end in your life. Yeah. Amen. It's a very awesome weekend we're approaching. And it's going to be most, most empowering. Please ensure that all of our new converts are admonished to be part of the uh, water baptism on Friday, tomorrow morning. Is it today? Oh, okay, today. That's, uh, we have today at 5 p.m. and then tomorrow in the morning at uh, 7 a.m. That means after the covenant hour of prayer, you just go and baptize and you are ready to go out in the evening to celebrate Jesus. And then on Saturday morning, you are here again. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God is just looking for how to bless you by all means. Yeah. All this agenda is seeking how to bless you. God does not use people. He blesses them. And the blessing will be without, without measure. In Jesus' precious name. Are you glad about tomorrow's uh, rally? Outreach in the evening? Are you excited about it? Amen. Glory to God. Are you also happy about the Saturday outreach? Are you sure you are? Show it with a shout of praise. Amen. I can tell you this. With the joy of the Lord, there is no limit to where God is taking you. Therefore, rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say what? Rejoice. And rejoice evermore. Nothing breaks your joy from henceforth. Nothing breaks your joy from henceforth. Nothing breaks your joy from henceforth. Your miracle marriage is taking place through joy. Your miracle children are arriving through joy. Your breakthrough is coming through joy. Everything you have been looking for is reaching you speedily through joy. Everybody that went out joyfully returned with speedy reward. So you are returning with speedy reward. This is your season. Hallelujah. Lift up those two hands and give God thanks for such a day like this. Give God thanks for opening up a new chapter to your life today. In the name of Jesus. Together let's share the goodness of the Lord. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall do in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Before we share the heaven on earth, we have flyers here. God has plenty of flyers. And we're going to give it out lavishly to everywhere. And it will catch fire in their hands and lead to their salvation, their deliverance, and their breakthroughs. And they will ever thank God for sending you to them. Now, heaven on earth. And wonders without end. Now, whose new realm is that? And who else? That's your neighbor. Congratulate him right now. That's my new realm and your new realm. Congratulations.